When is the best time of year to sell your home? Are there better times, worse times? If you're thinking about selling, you've probably asked yourself this question. We get this question a lot, so I wanted to answer it here. I'm Chris Mullenberg, founder of the Mullenberg Real Estate Team at eXp Realty. And we get the question a lot, when is a good time to sell? Lots of people end up thinking that summer or late spring is the best time to sell. But I will tell you that at least here in Colorado, that early spring is traditionally the best, hottest market for sellers to put their house on the market. This is really from March through May. So all the way up till Memorial Day. And once you get into summer, you know, summer is not a bad time to sell, certainly plenty of market activity, but we've seen some years that summer kind of tapers off. Buyers, I think, get busy. They're doing vacations, they're doing life. And a lot of the most serious buyers have already bought in the spring. So uh, you don't wanna be on the downward slope of that summer activity. A very interesting thing is, uh, at least again in Colorado, this may be different in other markets, but Northern Colorado, August seems to be a really weird month. Again, I think kids are getting back to school, people are wrapping up vacations. So we really caution folks to avoid kind of the July 4th to Labor Day time frame. What's interesting is that we always tend to get a fall rebound market. So this is after the dust has settled, kids are back in school, and we're kind of getting into that early fall, let's say mid-September. It seems like we usually have a nice run of market activity from mid-September through about the beginning of December. So there's a nice uh, fall window there too. And of course, over the years, we've sold a lot of homes in the winter and sellers ask us, is it just the stupidest idea to list our home in the winter? Actually, no, you've got some really motivated buyers a lot of times in the winter. If people are looking to move between Thanksgiving, Christmas, or you know, in January, they're often looking for a reason. They've had a job transfer, they're new to town, they really need a place to live. So it's not the worst case in our strong Northern Colorado market to go ahead and list your house in the winter if you have no other options. But if you've got options of when you list, March through May is our recommendation. And one strategic move to listing your home March, April, or May, and mostly March and April, is that you beat a lot of other sellers to market. Lots of sellers are not really waking up to get their house ready until late April, May, even into June. So if you can hit that early spring while all the buyers are out, because buyers hit the market sooner than sellers do, you'll get access to all those buyers before other listing inventory is on the market competing with your house. And just an interesting side note, election years tend to be a little bit calmer market in the late summer and into fall, uh, even through the new year. For whatever reason, folks kind of get into the wait and see mode uh, in the second half of an election year. Of course, the sky never ends up falling. The world doesn't end over an election, but people are a little on edge. Oh, I wanna see what's gonna happen with the economy and let's just hold off and see where things go. That does provide actually a decent bounce back in the early next year after an election year. So if you've been considering selling your home, give us a call, shoot us a note, and we'll run an analysis specific to your house because every neighborhood's a little bit different. Some neighborhoods tend to be better early in the year, some are better a little closer to summer. So for your specific situation, we'll put together an analysis proposal for you and uh, make sure we get you on the right track and the right timing.